So what I like about around here is you've got these little kind of roads that lead down to the uh, sort of beach. Really nice little bungalows. And uh, very quiet of course, you get you know, a few cars, local traffic of course, but nothing, you know, nothing major. It's just like little, uh, just like little lanes really. It sort of all, uh, it all opens out. So townies, um, like Sean in Dagenham, and uh, sort of like Gary, uh, and or even myself, kind of in some little suburbia. So just imagine one of these bungalows, guys. They're not all that expensive, actually. You'd be quite surprised. But imagine living here. You wake up in the mornings, and then you open your uh, bedroom curtains, and you look out on that. How about that? <laughs> it's a damn sight better than the view that I've got at home, I tell you. Straight out to sea. Unbelievable. Really, really a nice view, and that's like a dream come true, right, really. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm interrupting myself here because old Fred's talking a load of, well, dogs dangly bits, really. Um, when I got back to the cottage, I googled Clifton Way Overstrand and found this, look, just a few years ago, half of the bloody road fell into the sea, the whole bloody cliff collapsed, and uh, this is the road that I'm just walking around, as you can see at one point, you could go straight across, so would I want to live there? Well, actually, uh, no, I don't think I do, <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd add that, anyway, back to the walk. Of course, if you want to step outside your little bungalow, looking out to sea, well, you got rather a steep slope, but, uh, Straight down, straight down to the coast. It's a bit sleep. Imagine this in the uh, in the winter. If this was frosty and icy, it'd be quite interesting. Because uh, straight over there, and you're all the way down. But uh, what a view, though! Smell that uh, salty sea air. All the ozone you get off the sea, especially on a nice clear day like today. Sound of the uh, the waves coming in. And there it is. And that's the tide is cutting in at the moment. But as I say, this would be your view in the mornings if you got up with a dog. You could risk it going down that little slope there. I don't know about that. It's, uh, straight out to the sea. Lovely. Oh, I don't know. What a way to live, fellas, eh? Us that live in the towns wake up to the sound of traffic and diesel and petrol fumes and you can wake up to all this. Very, very nice. Now, as I mentioned on the other video, one of the uh, problems you've got here is coastal erosion. Um, see up there? That was uh, obviously part of a house that's completely collapsed. And I think this was obviously many years ago, I don't think that's uh, recent, but uh, you can see where it's come out here, completely uh, come crashing down. That was someone's lovely, lovely house at one point. How gutted would you feel? But uh, back in the 1920s, they, had, they did a massive sort of hotel just around the corner there called the Pleasurance. It was this whole area of side strand was a big kind of like millionaire's sort of kind of holiday result. Stop, stop, I'm going to interrupt myself because I've kind of talking a little bit of uh, bollocks here to be honest. It wasn't the Pleasurance the Hotel, that hotel is still standing. It was called the Overstrand Hotel and it was built around the turn of the century, uh, mainly after the travel writer Clement Scott stayed in Overstrand in 1883 and after that it became quite a place to be. 1920s, 1930s, very chic, all those rich people from London came down here for the holidays and they built the Overstrand Overstrand Hotel and they thought it'd be a great idea to put it right on the edge of the cliff because then all of the people staying there could look out over the sea but unfortunately they put it just a little bit too near the edge of the cliff and it did fall into the sea and that was not before it actually was burnt to the ground rather mysteriously. Anyway just thought I'd correct myself uh, just for the prosperity there so I'm uh, going to go back to the uh, walk now. Now the tide's coming in quite a calm day today but uh, chance of getting wet along this promenade yeah you'd like to see that on camera old friend getting completely soaked by the morning tide but uh, hopefully it won't happen but it has happened before happened last year we got caught along here 
It's uh, very refreshing though, very uh, salty sea air. Lots of uh, fresh air, good for you I think. So much better than uh, diesel fumes from buses and whatnot. Very, very, very refreshing. Certainly wakes you up in the morning. Some sort of beach huts here. I suppose it's alright in the summer, you know. When you uh, park up with your family, I guess. The, uh, the tide's gone out, you've got a bit of beach down here. Can't see much of it right now. But uh, yeah, it'd be quite nice, I suppose, with your family. I wouldn't have thought they cost a lot to hire compared to Frinton, which is like really expensive. But uh, yeah, having kids on the beach when the, beach, when the tide's out. Bucket and spade and uh, you know all that. I'd get the old knotted uh, handkerchief out if it was me. And uh, it'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Traditional uh, British sort of beach holiday, you know. Don't sort of do that much of that nowadays, do you? Everyone goes to uh, everyone goes to Spain or Turkey. If you can risk it. <laughs> oh, I'm taking life life in my very hands. I'm going to get wet in a minute. Definitely, uh, definitely a bit risky on the edge here. Anyway, I better catch the missus up. She's getting the ump because I'm dropping behind, chatting on camera. And uh, like you do, right? Love it. So we've got some uh, local fishing boats here. They do fish out to, uh, out from here as well. You can sort of occasionally see them in the mornings. And what amazes me is not so much these little boats, but it's these diesel tractors. You've got to look at these. And I've actually seen these last year out on the beach. And these actually work. They actually use these. But these are rusted to hell. Look at that chain there. But in fact, that is greased up. And these things actually work. That steering wheel. They certainly seen better days. But, yeah, it does work, they use it. And you've got another one here, and this one is, uh, well, in a not much better state, is it? Certainly shows the uh, endurance of a diesel motor, doesn't it? <laughs> Need a fair bit of hammerite and that, and a, uh, and a wire brush. To get the, uh, get the corrosion off, I think that would be a bit beyond my skills. But yeah, these run these tractors. They they do run. They just uh, take the take the boats, the uh, fishing uh, boxes here, and they uh, yeah. You can see like the burn there. Well, that's got really hot and it's burnt through the tarpaulin. And they do run them. They do run these boats out. And over strand, yeah, they fish. Quite right, amazing. All right, we've got a bit of a slope now. What goes down must go up. And uh, see the old missus there and Bella, they've got a head start on me. So I've got to catch up again. But we've got quite a little bit of a slope. Good job I like walking, isn't it? Here I go. There we go, last sort of uh, scenery shot. This is the promenade at Overstrand. Not much to see when the tide's in. Probably better when the, uh, when the tide's out. But uh, still quite a nice walk though with Bella. Much better than walking around the streets at home anyway. Thanks for joining me. Catch you later. So I hope you liked that. If you did, well, please subscribe because that's how this uh, second channel is going to work. If people start subscribing, I will put more videos up. Uh, anyway, as always, cheers. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.